Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to create an applet. Write a Java program that describes the life cycle of an applet. So you can see here there are four methods in it start, stop and destroy. These four methods are defined in the applet class and the default implementation of all these methods is provided. So you need to override them unless and until you require specific implementation. And there is one more method which is paint method which is defined by the AWT component class. This method is called when the applet's output must be redisplayed. So these five methods are assembled in this program into the skeleton. So you can see that the first thing is we have imported import java.applet.applet because I hope everybody remembered that I told you that every applet that we create is a subclass of applet. So for that reason you have to import the applet class. We are importing java.awt.graphics because the paint method has one parameter of type graphics. This parameter will contain the graphics context which describes the graphics environment in which the applet is running. This context is used whenever output to the applet is required. So because of this reason we are importing this java.awt.graphics. And also import java.awt.star. Okay, so I can simply say awt.star to make you understand about the paint method. I have written it in these two ways. Okay, so then we are writing an uh, HTML uh, code inside this particular comments. I described you that we are going to run this particular code in an applet viewer. Applet viewer is a standalone command line program from Sun to run Java applets. And this is provided by your JDK and developers generally use this applet viewer for testing their applets before deploying them to your website. So rather than testing it on the website, they test the applet whether it is running properly or not using an applet viewer. Applet viewer is just for used for testing. And uh, the drawback with the applet viewer is that it will ignore all the code that is written in the HTML document except for the code written in the applet tag. It will recognize only the code written in the applet tag. That's the reason why we are giving only the applet tag over here rather than giving all the HTML code. And inside the applet uh, tag, we are having three parameters. The first is the code. So which will be taking the dot class file of this particular program that we are writing and the name of this program is applet lifecycle. So after you compile it, you will be getting applet lifecycle dot class so that you have to provide inside this code parameter and the width is the uh, how many pixels it need to be wide and height is a how much how many pixels it need to be in height. So these will be defining the window dimensions. And then here, uh, observe friends, I have made this applet to be public. It is very important because applets will be running on uh, another systems. Okay, so they will be called on uh, other from the other code. Okay, so that's the reason applets need to be public. So if you are not making it public, then your applet will not be initialized. Okay, so this is mandatory friends. You have to make your applet as public. So I said public because you already know that if you're making a class public, then the name of the program also should be the name of the class. So that's the reason the name of this program is also applet lifecycle dot Java and, uh, and extends applet. So I told you that any applet that we create is a child of an applet class. So you need to extend applet. And here are the methods which are public void init method. So we are setting the background. So the background is set to color dot red. So there are many constants over here, red, yellow, orange, green, all that. So you can use all the colors, any color that you want. You can also set the foreground color, which will set the color of the text. And then I'm using system dot out dot print for the debugging sake to understand which the order of uh, the methods that is called. So this system dot out dot print will print on the console for us. Okay. On the command line uh, console CMD, it will be printing this system dot out dot print This will not print the text on the applet friends. So this will print uh, the text on the 
command line okay and next is the start method so we are just saying start method is called and then the paint method paint is called and the stop method stop is called and the destroy method when we are saying destroy is called the purpose of this program is to create an applet and to understand the life cycle of an applet life cycle of an applet means that the order of the methods that is called okay how many times a method is called what is the order in which the methods are called all that we will be able to understand in this particular program and i am going to run this program using applet viewer you can also run this program in the other procedure like you have to write an html code and save it uh, and you have to save it as dot html applet lifecycle dot html and after saving it, if you double click it, it will open it in the browser. But the point here is the browser need to have Java plugin. So I'll show that execution in my next video. Okay, well friends, the first thing that you need to do is you have to compile it like your regular programs. So I'm saying Java C and then the name of the program which is applet lifecycle.java dot java so by doing this my program will be compiled and you i hope everybody remembered that there won't be any main method here in this applet so you can clearly see that there is no main method in this program friends applets are different kind of programs they need different kind of environment to execute so here but uh, here the dot class file is created which is applet lifecycle dot java so now we'll call the applet viewer applet viewer is uh, already provided by your uh, jdk so i'm saying applet viewer everything is in lowercase friends and then i am writing the name of the source file okay so not the class name so i'm saying applet lifecycle dot java okay so i am saying applet lifecycle dot java so as in as i call this applet viewer see friends the applet is created so i'll show you this applet so friends see here the see here friends the applet is created and you can see there is a symbol here which is uh, the symbol of java and it is saying applet viewer and it is saying the name of the applet so it is saying applet lifecycle dot class is executed so it is saying applet lifecycle dot class and uh, and the name of uh, this is an applet so we are it, it's saying applet and here it is saying applet started and we have set the color to red so the applet color is red and see here friends the width and height is set to the dimensions that we have set it to okay and uh, yeah as you can see on the command command line over here that first init method is called then start method is called then paint method is called friends and when i minimize it you can see that a stop method is called so i hope everybody can see that and when i again maximize it see friends start and paint method method are called and in this is the order friends whenever you uh, see i am maximizing it again so when i maximize it again the paint method is called so whenever you want to redraw the contents on onto the applet the paint method is called friends but the start method is called when you are uh, minimizing it and you want to maximize it then the start and paint are called so the sequence of uh, uh, the methods called uh, for the uh, i mean for at the beginning what happened the init start and paint method are called and uh, so if i have want to destroy this uh, applet so if i just click here on the cross button okay so the applet will be closed so see here friends the stop and the destroy method are called so this is the life cycle of uh, an applet friends and uh, as i told you before the destroy the stop method is called so this is the life cycle of an applet friends well friends we'll see another version of the program we have seen now so in this program instead of using system.out.println i have used a draw string uh, we have used system.out.println for debugging sake to print uh, uh, something on the console uh, for us to understand the order of the methods called during the life cycle of an applet uh, it has got nothing to do with the applets friends but if you want to display something on an applet then you have to use this drawstring method so drawstring method is there in the graphics class 
so that's the reason why we have imported java.awt package and why we have imported java.applet.applet is because every class uh, applet class is a subclass of an applet so that's the reason why we have imported this package and the next is applet tags put in comments the okay so here in inside the applet class uh, see friends there is no main method and we are having uh, one variable which is string msg and then uh, the inside the init method we are uh, setting the background color of the applet and the foreground color of the applet by using uh, the methods uh, set background and uh, uh, set foreground and here in we are saying color dot yellow and color dot red this is set background and the set foreground methods are defined in the component class and the general form of the set background and set foreground is uh, uh, which takes as a color a constant as an uh, parameter so here there are many colors defined which are color dot black color dot blue and color dot gray green and pink red white yellow and all that so whatever color we want we can set it this is uh, the initialization color so as soon as the applet is launched this it will have this color you can also change the colors uh, um, eventually when you launch your uh, applet and when you start using the applet okay so here we are setting the message string for the message so which is inside in it and uh, then inside uh, start method we are saying message plus is equal to inside start because we want to know the sequence of uh, the order of the methods call uh, so instead of using system dot out dot print ln which prints something on the console we are using uh, g dot string which will print the same sequence on the applet okay so msg is equal to inside start so the previous message plus this message and then inside the paint method paint method is taking the graphics object in it and the graph by using the graphics object we are calling the draw string method because the draw string method is from the graphics class which is taking three parameters the message uh, x and y so the x and y coordinates are set here to 10 and 30 and the left top corner is always at x y 0 0 okay so based on that the message will start printing from 0 and 30 and remember friends that uh, new lines will not be considered if you want to print uh, something at some specific locations you only have to use the x y coordinates and then even here we said message is equal to message plus inside paint and the stop method is also saying message is equal to message plus inside the stop okay so uh, i hope everybody understood this program since the class is uh, public the name of the program is also my applet dot java so i'll uh, execute the program and uh, show it to you so initially i am compiling it so i said java c my applet dot java so there are no errors and warnings so now i can execute it okay so i can execute it by using the applet viewer so applet viewer and the name of the java source file what is the name of the java source file which is uh, my applet dot java okay so see here friends uh, so the applet is launched i have set the width and the height of the applet to uh, 600 and 600 and then uh, you can see inside in it and the background color is yellow and the foreground color which is the text color is red and uh, i said inside in it and then start and paint these are the first three methods which will be called upon upon create uh, applet uh, uh, creation so then uh, okay so i'm minimizing it so i minimized it and again i maximized it friends so you can clearly see as i minimized it the stop method is called and then uh, when i maximized it the start and paint methods are called okay so say again i'm minimizing it and i'm maximizing it again you can see friends the uh, uh, stop method and start method and then paint and paint and paint are called okay so these are all the methods that are called friends okay so so if i want to close this applet i have to press this uh, cross uh, button over here friends 
or else i can press over here on this uh, coffee symbol and i can uh, you can you will be getting a drop down menu and from here also you can close your applet okay so even if i didn't write the destroy method inside my applet the destroy method is automatically called you will be overriding the destroy method only if you have specific shutdown operations to be done all about applet life cycle now we'll take a quiz so I want all of you to pause your videos and take the quiz.